Hey there guys, thanks for joining us on another Kickstarter preview. Uh, today we're going to be playing a game that has no box. But, we're showing you this game because uh, this was Mike's previous game. Today we're doing Dice Hospital. And there's Mike, he's the designer of the game. Hi. Uh, we've got Molo, and we've got Martin. That's right, I only chose people with a name starting with M today. <laughs> uh, right, so we're going to give you a quick, quick overview of how the game works. <laughs> yeah, oh, we no. didn't say what my name was. So. <laughs> uh, we're going to give you a brief overview of how this game works. Keep in mind, obviously, this is prototypes and rules may change depending on when the Kickstarter comes. Uh, and I'll put a link down to the Kickstarter when it goes live in the show notes below. Um, but we're going to go over a brief overview, show you a bit of the gameplay and then uh, we might have a chat afterwards. Depends on how we like it or not. And uh, we don't want to embarrass M Mike on TV. And we haven't spent the last hour discussing it. <laughs> and telling him <laughs> we're fatigued. <laughs> okay, so each person is going to have his own little hospital to build. So this is what the hospital might look like. And uh, you have a few rooms. And you start with three nurses. On your turn, and you have a little nice little, uh, little sheet here that tells you. So the first thing you do is intake. So the first player will take this bag of dice. Actually, Mike, do you want to explain it, considering this is your game? Um, yeah, sure. Um, so part of the setup actually is everybody's going to get some patients before we start. Oh, I've got that, haven't you? We put them on a three, four, five, two, yep. three, four. Right? That's right. <clears throat> Blind draw from the bag to go in your wards. Three, four, five. Um, and they can go anywhere in, in the awards, the, um, the, the arrangement of that doesn't matter too much. But you've only got 12 spaces for 12 patients, and each dice represents a patient. Uh, the pips on the dice are how healthy they are, so the, uh, the lower the number, the more sick, uh, and the more work it's going to take to heal them. So this, uh, this number three uh, is going to have to be healed four, five, six, seven to get them out of the hospital, whereas this five only needs to be healed six, seven to get them out of the hospital. Yeah, going from six to seven is what discharges them out, and that's and that's what uh, that's when you can score them. Uh, if they were to drop lower uh, and um, go down to a one, that's very very poorly. If they go below a one, then they die uh, and actually go to your morgue and will score negatively at the end of the game. Um, but yeah, the turn sequence is the first thing we do is fill up these ambulances in the middle of the, the table. One, two, three, five, six. So this changes obviously Seven, depending nine, on the number of players. Uh, there are green dice in there as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So we've got five oh, yeah. ambulances here, Jeez, and we, have, yeah. we put three dice in each ambulance. Uh, and currently the rule we're playing with is we're rolling ones and sixes, so it's not too hard or too easy. Um, and we're sorting the uh, content of these ambulances from the, the sickest patients, what we would say are the worst patients. The first um, response that is. Through <laughs> to the, uh, uh, the least worst, uh, the easiest to heal. So the first um, player would decide this. Yeah. We'll see when there's a... Let's do that. Oh, that That's a lot of red and yellow dice. Yes. <laughs> So, okay, but there are equal numbers of each colour in the bag, so yeah, this is just a, an interesting draw. Um, and I've done that. What we also need to be doing is uh, populating these displays of upgrades uh, for our hospitals. So, there's specialists here. Um, so, the, essentially, these are new workers that you're going to get, and um, they are coloured workers rather than the white nurses. Professionals. Yep. And obviously rooms that you can add to your hospital, which are better than your standard basic rooms. They've each got different abilities. So if they're yeah. coloured, they will they will affect that specific colour dice. If they're grey, they generally do uh, more neutral things or any colour. So for example, I've got a patient that say he's on a four, so he's mid mid sick, and uh, I can take one of my nurses and stick them on the trauma unit here. Which says if you put a nurse there, it increases the health of one red dice. So I change this four to a five, and then he would go to the treated section, and uh, you can do that for yellow dice, green dice, and then these over here are specific to numbers. So you put a nurse there, and it'll heal a one or a two. This one heals a three or four. This one's a five and six. This is where your nurses drink tea. This is where your people die. 
and this is where the people it's are discharged. Where, it's not where they die, it's where they go when they die. Yeah, the more it's where heaven. Go. <laughs> heaven. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's at the bottom, it's hell. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, 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 the ambulances are numbered because uh, the, uh, everyone's going to take one of these ambulances <clears> and the, the number of the ambulance indicates the order you then get to take upgrades to your hospital. Um, and uh, we're, we've got some advanced um, specialists uh, and we've got some advanced rooms uh, which do better the thing, uh, do better things than the defaults that you get to start with. So picking up that's number one means you'll get the first pick of these. Uh, and all the way through to the But end. it does mean you get the twos, which means <coughs> they are the more sick people, mm. which will take longer to mm. get them out. It's, it's also points. worth saying as well that these guys can be used generically as well, yeah. but if they're using yeah, their yeah. specialisation... So, their, their, their abilities are, in addition to triggering the room you put them in, um, uh, they, uh, they will also uh, trigger another ability depending on what they heal. Uh, this guy, for example... If uh, if he heals a green patient, then another green patient can be uh, bumped one one step. Or mm. well, this one, if he heals a yellow patient, um, then uh, another patient of the same value uh, before it was healed uh, can can also go up one step of any colour. Yes, yeah, um, so you can. You find you kind of chain things together as well because even though you've got two sections in your ward, which is like treated untreated. Just because someone's been treated doesn't mean you can't treat them again. So you can kind of chain things together and, and you know, I've treated him so I don't need to tend to him because there is, as I'm sure Mike will say, penalties for not doing it. But you can kind of treat people again and again and again by... Yeah, you'll see more doing the gameplay yeah. turn. I mean, what yeah. we're doing here is giving you a brief overview of the game flows. And then once we get started, we'll play through a round or two. There's eight rounds in the game. And uh, it has a scoring track over here, which I will show you because you can't see there's a mountain of tiles in a way. So there's eight, eight, score, eight turns, and then the person with the most score is the victory. You gain score from discharging patients. And there's a table here. So one patient, and this is per turn. So for example, if you only get rid of one person on your turn, you get one point. But if you get rid of five people on the same turn, you'll get eight points. By well, the way, he's describing it as getting rid of. This is literally <laughs> curing and discharging. <laughs> get rid of these people. It's like a restaurant, man. Get them in, get them out, get the money. Okay, um, anything else you want to add, Mike? No, 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 yeah. The, a core proposition of the game is you're going to be building a little engine where you're, you're trying to, um, uh, with the efficiency-wise, try and heal as many people as possible. Uh, and the scoring is it encourages you to heal as many people in the same turn as possible. But because you've only got limited space in your wards, that's a bit of a trade-off in terms of who you can keep and who you need to get rid of mm. from from turn to turn. Okay, so uh, I think that's pretty much everything that we need to tell you to begin with. Um, once we get to the gameplay turn, as we're taking our turns, we'll explain more and, and, ex and go through the details. So let's get this started. All right. So this is the gameplay turn. Uh, we've had a few turns. This is the fourth turn. And that's what the scoring is like at the moment. So at the moment, Mike is in the lead with five points. Uh, Molo and Martin are in second place with fourth. And I'm in third place with three. Um, for Molo's, you're the first player, aren't you, Molo? I am. Uh, so we have a quick look at each other's hospitals. Martin's got a couple of specialists and, and one extra room. building. Molo's got center, two, two extra rooms and another specialist. Mike, what you got? He's also uh, got yeah. a lot of sick patients. I can't help but notice. Yeah, we all do. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah he's he's two got... departments and one specialist for me. And then I've got two extra departments and one specialist. Now, a quick a closer look. Obviously, don't forget this is all placeholder art, so this will change. But it looks pretty good already. As what my, my patients look like. As you can see, I've got a guy circling the drain over there. He's on a one, but then I've got a few guys who are almost ready to go. It's so whether or not I can manipulate it. This is what's come out this turn. So we've got two green specialists, a red and a yellow specialist. We've got two yellow rooms, a red room, and a neutral room. So first thing you've got to do on your turn is uh, you draw out 15 dice out of the bag, which is Molo has already done, so we can avoid some of the sound, and then roll them. And then any ones and sixes oh get re-rolled. Okay. So we don't pick up any dead people or any healthy people. Try that again. Come on, man. One more. That's it. Okay, cool. And then he allocates them to the ambulance trucks. And he gives you twos. Cool. Go for it. Right. Um, a quick scan of this hospital. Um, no, more. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, 
and that is horrific. So they're going to go there, along with one of those. And then you're going to have... That's a lot of fives. A lot of reds as well. Very a lot of reds. That's only one real truck that I really want here. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what the hell I want. Okay, so now that he's allocated the dice, um, he as the first player gets to choose the first truck. So, Milo, which truck would you like? When he says truck, he means ambulance, by the way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> In South Africa, they literally use trucks for delivery and ambulance. Yes. At the same days. time as well. <laughs> Sufficiency. Yeah. So um, obviously the number, well, if he chooses, chooses higher number, uh, lower number, he gets first choice of upgrade. This is horrible. Four. It really is. So then you add, you add your sick people to your available spaces on the beds. If you don't have enough space, what happens then, Mike? Um, the excess patients die uh, <laughs> and uh, score you negative points. The new patients or patients that are already in the... Uh, the current rules that, we're, that have gone out in the playtest are you can choose in who in your hospital dies. You can't keep the intake ones and lose uh, people that are worse off, like this guy, for example. You could bump him out and let him die. Okay. Um, I, I definitely prefer the intake patients have to be put in, so you'll, you'll have to lose existing patients, but... That's, that's, yeah, we'll see how that, yeah. that evolves. Um, uh, anyway, I'm going to take this uh, for, No, get this off. This one. No. Have I denied you a four again? Yes. Oh, I'm really sorry, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Such a dingbat. <laughs> All right. Um, it was also the other reason I wanted this, because it had a green one on that I needed. I don't want this green one, though. It's too big. Uh, but I don't want three red fives, and I don't want three red twos. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's horrific. What upgrades do we have yet? Ooh. You'll need, you'll need some more reds for that one, won't you? Yeah. There's another one of those. How much did you take it? I think I'm going to go for this one. Oh my god, Jason. Friggin' so madman. Definitely taking that. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> I might regret that. Oh. Right, so I'm I got the number one, yeah. so I get the first pick of what I want. So I can either choose a new room, which gives you different abilities, or I can choose a new uh, specialist. Um, I think I might go for a specialist. Just thinking, because I got a lot of red dice, so this is the. But I've already got a room like this. And it's not, being out of twice is not terrible though. No. But I think I want to manipulate the reds that I do have. So I'm going to take this red specialist. And kudos for using manipulate in the correct context. <laughs> you got word uh, of the day toilet paper. That's it. Uh, yep. Oh, man, I'm really not sure about this. But I'm going to take this one. Add it to my hospital. Okay. So I'm going to take... I think it's time for a specialist. I think... It'll be this one. Alright, and then Milo, which what are you taking? <laughs> um <laughs> do that again. <laughs> yeah, all the time to think, man. Yeah, but you didn't know what was gonna be left. Manipulated his choice. Uh, I'm gonna you know you want this. You know it, you want it. It probably should be, but I'm not sure that how much the people may die because I've taken this one. I've got to bear that weight on my conscience. <laughs> well, well, we'll get to see it first because you're the first player. It's also news to me as well that he's got a conscience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so go through step by step what you're doing and what you're thinking. So, well, <laughs> oh my God, what he's thinking? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, About no, the game, Molo. <laughs> yeah, now we've chosen our upgrades, we move to activating our hospitals where we heal our patients. Just to say, this this can be done simultaneously as well. Yeah. But obviously, for filmic purposes, yeah. we want to show added dra <laughs> dramatization or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what, gonna... what we're actually going to say in the rules is it's up to you whether you play simultaneously or, or in turn order. Just uh, you know, depending on how confident you are with the game and you know, how well you trust the other players. <laughs> That's why we're doing it turn turn yeah. by turn because we don't trust Muller. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nor should you. Um, I am in a spot of bother. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, your hospital's full, so you need to get people out, otherwise you will be getting dead people turn up next Which turn. <laughs> puts a lot of people off coming to hospital, that I find. Um, people are so funny, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, we will uh, we will go with this one. First of all, bring those up down to fours. This isn't going to work. It's not adding up in my head as I do this. But, um, <laughs> uh, if it helps, I think I'm in an amount of trouble as well. Okay. Right. So then... Oh, and that allows me to heal or oh, push another red up one. No, that doesn't help. Oh, damn. Right, pop that one there. Is that different red? Oh, is it a different red? Yep. Oh, dear. I haven't planned this at all well. Um. Okay. Well, that one goes up to six then as well, I guess. Okay. What, what made they go up to six? Oh, the specialist. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, because he healed a red patient, he can heal a different red patient one step. Oh, God. Okay, so we'll put these four of these up to fives. Enough people to get anybody out, everybody's gonna die. Um, we'll be able to discharge one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so next to genocide, <laughs> in hospital. Actually, that's not quite true. I mean, yeah, you could potentially discharge two. But we would just say what you're doing. Oh, sorry. Yes, hmm. I'm putting three of a four air or a five face up by oh, one. one step. Yeah, you can do it three times with one nurse. Indeed. So it's a pretty good tile. Uh, it's got two. It's very, very, very circumstantial. Fact, they're exactly the same, aren't they? Yep. Son of a... No wonder nobody else would be able to get them. Oh, and he's got a bloody lower one yeah, there as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, greedy. And yet, and yet still they will die. <laughs> okay, and then we'll uh, get one through just to score a point to mitigate the, the mass losses that are coming. Well, the two... Two dead guys there. So just to explain what happened there is six is obviously when they are basically healed, but you need to bump them up off six, so technically to a to virtual seven, seven right. uh, which then moves them to the discharge area. Yeah. All right, so that's what you've done. We'll come back to um, how, how people go down and go up and that sort of thing. Okay. Let's see what Martin's doing. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to go, but we'll try it. I'm going to send this nurse to the blood unit. To increase this dice, I'm just, just going to move five. these two to the end view. My cards are going to kill you. <laughs> um, I'm going to use. I suppose it doesn't really matter. The cardiologist is going to go to the crash center. Now, I have to three equal um, value different colored dice up by one. So oh, I've already healed that. And what was the other one I did? I just did one, didn't I? Yeah. So that'll become a six. That'll become a six, and that become a six. And then you can heal his ability is um, I can basically um, do another of the same value, so another five. five. Um, so I will do, let's do that one to a six. That goes down there. Now this green dude. It's going to come down here. I think I've fools this up, but we'll see. Yeah, okay. Uh, that green dude is going to definitely get him out of there. So healing up by seven, and it lets me heal another one. So that will go up to a six, I think. Uh, the same value. So he was a six before being discharged, so you would heal oh, six out. Yes. Not a five to a Sorry, six. my bad, my bad. It's good thing yeah. Mike's here, otherwise... Yeah. It is a very good thing Mike's here, yeah. We would be cheating like hell. Well, that was a error on my part. I thought it was another green dice, not another... Um, cause I, Same value. Yeah. Um, I've got two little nurses left, so... Hmm, a lot of my people are going to be hurt after this, I suspect. So, I'm probably going to... Send that one there. I may as well... Actually, yeah, I'll probably do that one, I think. Yeah, let's do that. And three yellows. I'll do the three yellows, which go down to a four. That's pretty good going. 
That was okay. Well, I did, what I, I did what I needed to do, which is get three people out of the hospital. You got five people untreated. Oh, three people will be leaving my hospital. <laughs> <laughs> One way or another. In bags. <laughs> <laughs> Going to the glue factory. <laughs> Would you like me to uh, control that, Jason? My you... holders. All right. So my. Plus your microphone, by the way. It's nothing nefarious. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I've got a red specialist here that uh, when I do a red one, I can do another guy. It's no, that's the same, the same red one goes up again. Yeah. So I want to go there, which activates, allows me to increase the red one to one by one, which is three, and then I can do it again, yep. the same one, to a four. Which changes into your department. Yeah. And then... Holy shit, it's like play for and got. <laughs> then I've got... Um, this one is, it's like a chain of three, four, and five, or four, three five, and six. Three consecutive values, yeah. yeah. So I've got a four, five, and six here. So the six will go out. The five goes up to a six, and the four goes up to a five. All right. That's as far as I got. <laughs> um, well, you're doing all right so far. Two out as well. What's your yellow guy? He is a... Double... Two, well, there yeah. you go. Well, they're both out. So they're both come out but I want to save this guy so I might not use I've got a one year that has three of the same I've got three fours here which will bump them all up to fives but then oh no that still fine. works yeah that's that fine. still works so I'm gonna go there which will bump these all up to fives next turn preparing for next turn it's triplet birth and then my last one will go there which is just bump this one up yeah. Your problem is next turn you're gonna have four, uh, three, three ones. Yeah, four. No, three because that one, three, that yeah, one's yeah. fancy heal. But we'll we'll get to that. Yeah. That's it. Okay. That's not bad. Right, let's go over to Mike and see what he's got. The expert, the clearest hospital. <laughs> yeah, Mike. If you don't do this well, uh, this game's gonna do really badly. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> um, so my green specialist, my garage is gonna go to immunology to do um, three consecutive green values. So I've got four, five, six there. So the four becomes a five. The five becomes a six. And the six can come out. Uh, and I can also heal a different patient of the same value of someone I healed. So uh, four, five, or six, really? So I'll heal one of these fours to a five, which lets me use this room. So I can now go four, five, six, yellow. Checking, look at him go. See, this oh, is what we have to deal with. The yeah. master at work. Yeah, he yeah. bring, brings his game over here and then just whoops we us just, with We it. just sit and sit and look, <laughs> like, look agog. All, <laughs> all of our mouths are open currently. Uh, <laughs> and Martin's uh, still holding mine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, well, he can go there anyway. He'll this red guy one. But his, um, his ability for his because I've only got one red patient. I need to heal him as he's getting a bit low. So let's do that. And one guy left. Now the special rooms. Let's. What am I going to need to do? I'm going to look. I've got. Uh, let's. Um, let's heal one of these to there. Because that's going to drop as a result. Let's see how that's everyone. All right. So after we've all activated our hospitals, the next thing that happened is all of our neglected patients, everyone who didn't get treated, all drop down one step. And if the ones drop down below one, they die and score negatively. I've got three really sick people. It's a hospital, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. That's where you'd expect them. That's mine. Uh, and after we've checked neglected patients, we then score our discharged patients. Um, so now has got one. So it's worth one point. Uh, Martin's got three, three. Four, There's four, nine. four points. Uh, you've got three for another four points. And the dice that are discharged go back into the bag. And I've got two for two points. Right. Yeah, and the ones that didn't get claimed go back in the bag. Now we clean up for a new turn. So the the tiles go discarded. The bottom. And then new ones come out. Ooh, a lot of red tiles coming out. And we go on to turn five. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch this off now and then I'll come back on turn 8 and we'll film the turn 8 so you can see who wins as well. And who's dead. Yeah, and how much people have died. How many people have Bolo lost? <laughs> <laughs> didn't lose them. They're going to be right there. Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly where they are. <laughs> okay. So, this is the, the final round. This is round 8. This is what the scoring looks like. So I believe I'm in the lead with 25, Molo in second place with 24, third place is Mike with 21, and last place is Martin with 18. But th th even though this is the final it's round, to play for. Yeah, <laughs> we have got I've got a couple of dead people in my hospital in the morgue, and then oh, they should be going back to their starting positions. That's what my current sick bay looks like. Mike's sick bay, Jesus. Mike's got quite a few dice there that he can get he's out this no turn. He's got no dead people and he's got people ready yeah. to leave. Molo's got a few more dead people than the rest of us. One. One more than uh, the rest of us. You've also got a couple of people that aren't looking too healthy over they'll here. They'll be fine. I've got two dead guys. And this is what has come out. So, Molo's going to roll the dice. As it turns out, Molo's first player again. One of sixes. Yeah, that was a five. Stop rolling sixes, Milo. Not normally a problem. There we go. Not many twos. That's a good sign for the last turn. I have no idea what I want this turn. So, there, there. Then you got two threes, and then whichever four is going in there. Uh, The rest of fives. Hmm. Well, Mike, you're picking last. Right. In other words, what are you going to show? Why I'm, that's why I'm glad there's not that many twos. <laughs> so you can get either of those twos, what you're getting. Mm, very tempting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Milo, which. Truck, van, bus thing you're taking. I'm just a device for carrying people. Um, <laughs> probably that one. Whew. I'm glad you took that one because I don't want to be stuck with three yellows. I didn't mind three yellows. I wouldn't have mind that one though. Yeah. In fact, the only reason I took that one because I was certain somebody else was going to take that one. Um, and I'd get my choice beforehand. Yeah, so there's no double greed anywhere. So yeah, I'm gonna take this one. Yeah, which leads me to that. Great. Great. I might go first pick of <clears throat> I do, upgrade. I do. What do I want? In the final turn. almost feel like uh, the specialists are really good on this last turn because it gives you an extra worker to get some people out mm. but a building could be useful as well or a department well there are some very useful buildings for just shooting people out of a cannon from your I've had a few failed experimentations, with this, as you can see. But, uh, we can only learn from the corpses. Open the window first, and then do it. Dear God, what am I going to do? You can do this, Mike. I've got faith in you, man. You've already played this game a million times. You should know what is happening now. Look at the face of determination. Sky. What did you take? I missed it. The virologist. Oh. Greeny. So, me next? Hmm. It's bodes well, because I've got no idea what I want either, so uh, <sighs> I'd have to make a decision until you guys are... I think I'm going to take this one. 
Okay, well, I won't be taking that then. Added to my beautiful hospital <laughs> that specialises in trauma. Trauma? <laughs> that's, that's like dramatic trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, who's next? I think I just cheated. Oh, no, no, I didn't. There's no one. No, no, no. Uh, difficult decisions. I think I'm going to grab this. You got the pick of the bunch now, Martin? Yay! That's not helpful, though. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to go with that triple one. Does that do that? Let's, let's give it a go. See, see how we go. Attack that. Put it over here. Alright. So now it's doing the hospital stuff. Molo is the first player. Okay, let's What have we got for us, sir? We will play the uh, urologist in the orthopedics for some reason, uh, and that will get this guy completely healed, just through sheer terror, um, and prevent this guy from dying, which will be lovely for me. Uh, okay, then we'll send all the nurses up to the multiple room. What was all these? Up to the multiple the room. The multiple <laughs> room, where I keep all of my multiples of the people I've killed. <laughs> <laughs> we like to call it the more. Yeah. Right? <laughs> All of my swaps. Uh, there we go. Put everybody there up to six. Lovely. Okay, and we have four people left. Oh dear. Um, so we're probably not getting the many out. But people won't die. That's the important thing. Okay. In fact, we won't do that on the... What you guys can't see off camera is none of us is actually watching Molo. We're all looking at our own boards. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys all have to pick up if he's doing anything wrong. Oh, loads cheating terribly. What did I do? Oh, I remember. Okay. Greeny out. Put that yellow out. And then... Better tiles. This guy These guys work. haven't been healed yet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. They can't die on this round. No, so no, it's no. fine. They you can stay. Good even up them. Uh, there's not one. No, oh, and that one, yeah. I guess. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Doesn't make that much difference, but no, everybody's but, you know, happier in relative, the hospital. Relatively healthy. Yeah, no. Okay. Relatively empty hospital. Got another four guys out as well. Jesus. Without putting the pressure on Molo. <laughs> then Molo done. Now I like to think I've been thinking about what to do, and I have. <laughs> no fucking idea. <laughs> um, so I'm going to attempt this. So this guy is going to go here. Three equal uh, dice of different colours going up. So that's going to a six. And another six. And another six. <laughs> then this guy is going to go to the cardiology, and that I can basically do a run. Um, so this four becomes a five, this five becomes a six, and this six escapes. And because I use my general practitioner, I get to put another dice up. Of a face value. Yeah. Should I do that one? Now I need to raise that somehow. So let me think I'll probably do that there. Putting that up to a six. And because I used my microbiologist, that goes up to a six. And now I chuck a nurse in here, and these can Three of those. Nice. go out. I've got two dudes left. Two more discharges. In. I'll do that there. I would discharge this guy, because I'm nice like that. And that one there will discharge. 
this one. Done! Six guys out. Yeah, it's all right for a last turn. Oh, well. I'm going to struggle to do that. Yay! <laughs> all right, hold this. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> Right, oh, sorry, so, this is a professional Kickstarter video for God. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to activate these three fours to go up to fives. That's a start. Then, I'm going to send this yellow urologist to the blood unit. Making... <laughs> it's going to wee in all the blood <laughs> so to make them better. Those two. Because that's how urologists work. <laughs> Just wee on everything. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to send my virologist to the pharmacy, and he's going to do two equal ones down to there. And now that's all as that's as far as I got when I was thinking. <laughs> You've got an awful lot of fives there. To yeah. be fair, you should be able to do something. So I'm thinking I might send. Um, mm, suboptimal. Yeah, that's. I want to use the practitioner. You want to use your red guy to get red one out, don't you? To send with the yellow one out, so you can't do that yet. So what I'm going to have to do is. Have you got a red guy? Have you used him? Have you, I haven't used him yet. No. Oh, that's a, a plus. This it does the mm. same one twice, doesn't it? Yeah. So he's going to go out, whatever. So he'll send one out. He'll send one out if I can get someone. There's... If you can get someone else to assist, which you can do, because you can just put a white nurse on the five six base. Yeah, so he'll go there, which will doesn't matter. <laughs> Any of them. I'll do that one just for shits and giggles. Actually, no. I just realised this guy hasn't been checked yet, so he'll get it. No, no, no. I just realised why. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> he'll go there and then send this guy out. Mm. No, no, that's not right. It's the red, the red one. guy. Yeah, there the red guy needs to do that. And then he can, because he's doing that, he can put someone else up. Oh, no, no was it? It was the sorry, same yeah. guy. Yeah. The same guy twice. twice. Yeah. Same my, my bad, I thought he was using the yeah. blue guy. So now I need the blue guy. So you can go there, maybe. Yes, which will send him out. Yeah. And then when he heals, yeah. when he... Anyone else with one pip, yeah. Yeah, so he'll go out. I think that's about as good as I can do. You've got one guy left. Yeah, I got one worker left. But you can't go there because I don't have a sequential. You don't have three. You don't, don't have three. Have... And I don't have any. No. You should no. probably send her into the morgue to tidy up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> you might need some space. <laughs> so that is probably as good as I can do, which is not mm. great. Okay. Maybe I could have thought of something if I wasn't filming. <laughs> That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. All right, here Mike. we go. Okay, uh, what was I going to do? Um, I was going to. Hmm. I think the points are going to be really close. It depends how many Mike gets out now. Hmm. Well, Mike needs mass death. So if he goes really, there, but he's not going to get it, so he needs to do badly. To go there. And then I can send one of these guys there to go six, six. You can probably tell why we six. ideally do this simultaneously. Yes. Well, uh, this is for the viewers. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And heal two of these out. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's, it's all there on mic, this, this background conversation about the production <laughs> values of your videos. Well, I mean, really, there's not a lot that Mike is doing that would affect any of the other players, oh, no, and vice so. versa, so simultaneous play here is so the way to go. Well, we've had me and Jason changing our minds during our board session there, so that's going to... I still think I could have got it, get at least there. one more out if I could have thought about 20 minutes more. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, if 
you lose by what's losing three? If you lose by two points, then uh, kick yourself. Yeah. You can go there and heal this one to a six. And you can go there and go six, 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 no. six. Oh my! Four of them. Yeah. Wow. Why is it four of them? Well, it's this three. green well, one of each, oh, and then another one of the same value. Didn't, didn't see that. Well, that's. Uh, do you good. do you go to like uh, mini football clubs and like go around to the nine year olds and sh pretend to know <laughs> that's football they know? <laughs> go around and beat them all at chess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can he win the last game of this as well? We played. We did, I think he did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, that's my lot. Mm. All right. So we still do the usual so, end around well, stuff. Well, neglect you can do, but it doesn't. Unless someone was on too a much in the last turn. Yeah, if someone could die, I suppose. I got no neglect. As I, I look after my people. It's not the first round you've not uh, had it. And then we <laughs> score discharge patients. So Mano's got four for six points. That's it takes you up to thirty. I'm gonna zoom That's in on the scoring. For six dudes. Uh puts you on twenty nine. What? You on eighteen, so okay. twenty nine. Mano's on 40. I've got... Th uh, 30. One no. point ahead of you. Okay, cheers. Like, cheers. I've got three guys for four points. Yeah, that's literally going to make the yeah. difference. <laughs> and I've got seven guys for 14 points. Screw you, Mike. So that's me on 35. <laughs> and we look at us... All right. And no dead, either. And now we take off our dead. Yeah, one minus two points for every... So I've got two, two, so it's minus four points. Yeah. I also got two, minus four. This yeah. is the good one, though. Watch this. Minus six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's the tiebreaker? Damn, these fragile patients. <laughs> what is the tiebreaker? That's a good question. So, Mike has won on 35 points. And Molo's lost. Yeah. That's, with that's as far as we've come. 24. Me and Martin are tied on 25 points. And uh, it's gonna be your corpse pile, surely. <laughs> Which we tie on. Uh, yeah. The fewest patients remaining in your hospital is the tiebreaker. I've got five. five. <laughs> uh, if that's also a tie, it's the highest total of patient values uh, left in the hospital. I've got all fives and sixes. Yeah. I've got 23. I've got five, 10, 15, 26. 26. So does that mean I've come second? Yep. Yay! Tenuous. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine was only because of death. <laughs> there we go. So that is a full well, a playthrough of Dice Hospital. And um, if you if this interested you, you can go hopefully check the link when it comes live um, on Kickstarter. When is it going roughly, Mike? September you said, was it? So um, the plan with uh, Alicat Games uh, is, uh, is to do it uh, at the moment, this September, if the time London doesn't change. Um, it may slip depending on if the art comes together, if the um, finessing the mechanics come together. Also, what other big campaigns are on Kickstarter. But yeah, September is provisionally the plan. Okay. So when, when it goes live, I'll stick a link below and you can just follow the link to the Kickstarter if you want to go back it, which we advise to do. Uh, otherwise, Mike won't come around anymore. <laughs> uh, so, how long have you been working on this, Mike? Um, actually, um, this uh, my involvement's not actually been that long. Only since um, probably about Easter time. Um, this uh, um, so it's about four mm, months. It's three, sort of sort of a, a joint design, a uh, bit of redesign for um, 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 with another guy in the states who, who brought the original game to to Anicat Games, uh, and we've been um, yeah emailing frantically and playtesting frantically to try and. Uh, get it, uh, get it in a position where you know where we can do the campaign. So he's credited as a co-designer. That's right. right yeah, yeah. That. yeah. Oh, very nice. It's and you got you got some ideas for uh, future expansions. Yeah, well, the, <laughs> the design is quite modular, so yeah, you can introduce um, more upgrades uh, and potentially different color patients, uh, additional game effects that may yeah, maybe change the interactions. Um, yeah, oh, there's, there's yeah, we've spoken about it. quite a lot already, haven't yeah, we? Yeah. I think it looks really pretty good so far as already. Um, I'm looking forward to when this comes out. I've seen a little prototype of uh, says I'll put up a picture of the little ambulances that has the dice in there. They're going to look amazing when they come out. Yeah, we're talking with the campaign. We've been talking about stretching, maybe with yeah, a custom meeples, um, you know, or changing the ambulances to being maybe something physical, 3D. You can put your dice in. Um, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. 
That'll be interesting. Look, I look forward to seeing it, man. Yeah. Thanks for bringing this to show us. No problem. Thanks for playing. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for playing, Marlo. Uh, Thanks for coming third, Martin. Wow. <laughs> Joint second ish. Well, <laughs> we're gonna go play one of Mike's other games. See you guys later. Say goodbye, guys. Uh, goodbye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>